confirmed reports of an accident at Southland Park. I can't find my boy! Hundreds of family members gathered outside the deserted park today to commemorate the second anniversary of the Southland Park tragedy. The children are pending a full investigation of the park's safety. Authorities report at least 30 deaths and close to 100 injuries. Five years since the tragedy closed the gates of Southland Park, but new evidence is claiming malicious prosecution and believes he'll be vindicated at last. The so-called legal eagles from these lawsuits defending Southland Park all the jokes. There were people flying everywhere. Body parts, and the victims' blood. families oh have God. vowed to appeal the decision. Not guilty. Cleared of all charges. This training level will introduce to you the various skills and techniques required to effectively undertake the missions ahead. Welcome to the States, 47. This should be a straightforward operation. We need you to penetrate an abandoned amusement park, locate the owner, and take him out. The target is a Joseph Clarence, also known as Swing King. An accident involving one of the rides at the park a few years back forced him to close it down. Our client has made a special request that the photograph you have in your possession be the last thing the target sees. Mr. Clarence has somehow become involved with a narcotics distribution ring, so the park may still have some amusements. Enjoy the ride, 47. What the fuck you looking at, Kraken? I'm here to see Joseph Clarence. Never heard of him. Mr. Swing King? Oh, that <laughs> sorry ass dickhead. What the fuck they call you? Names are for friends, so I don't need one. <laughs> oh.
game of God is going on in here? Gotta check you, white bread. All right, you cool. Man, somebody got to fix I can get the money, sweetie. It's as good as mine already. Mr. Spook's got it. We'll open the park. It'll be like old times. No, no, just a few more days. You gotta believe me. Don't say that, sunshine. Mr. Spook's gonna come true, baby. He's good for the money. I won't sign the papers. I won't. You gotta give me one more chance. You gotta. Baby cakes? Sunshine? Hello? It's, uh, it's been a while now, uh, Scoop, and I was just wondering uh, where we were on the whole money thing. Were you? Yeah, see, the thing is, if you remember, you know what we agreed to was, it'd just be a short while and you'd pay in cash and... And... Uh, I know the what the pressure was you were under must be, but the deal is a deal, and I was hoping, you know, maybe you could just pay what we agreed on, even though you've been here for heck, more than twice as long as we agreed to, but just pay the original amount and move on. Not right away necessarily, but you know, I'd appreciate it. No.
all dead. Very, very little. Oh, yeah. Fine looking bitch like you don't need no fancy wrapping, do she? Depends who's unwrapping me. God damn, girl. I'd have your fine ass unwrapped before you could say, who's that handsome stud on time I river? I bet you could. Oops. Uh -uh. <laughs> That's Uncle Joe. Better get back to your post. Who? Anybody bring in any first day, Caroline? No, Uncle Joe. You sure? You haven't been flirting with that bum out there all day, have you? I swear to God, Uncle Joe, no one's come by at all. Except Dell, and he's not a bum. <sighs> sure he's not. Thanks, Caroline. That's all. Are you all right? Yeah, fine. Go on. <sighs> Who the hell are you? How'd you get in here? Carol Ann! My client has hired me to show you this photograph. I don't understand. My client has asked me to ensure it's the last thing you ever see. Please, look at the photograph, Mr. Clarence. Oh, please. Haven't I suffered enough? Don't you think I know how much suffering I'm responsible for? I can't sleep. I haven't slept in the guilt I feel. I'm so sorry. I know.
Yeah. Rick Henderson, first edition. He's expecting you. This way. Rick Henderson. I've been looking forward to this. As have I, Mr. Alexander. Don't let's stand on ceremony. Call me Jack. Rick. Make yourself comfortable, Rick. I'll be right with you. I admire your work. Real journalism. Thanks. I thought we'd start with your thoughts on the White House attack, then discuss your tenure as director of the FBI, post-retirement reflections, whatever, and- Rick. Or if you want to sound off on politics- Rick, my apologies. This interview about me is just a cover for a more sensitive story. I'm sorry to have lured you here under false pretenses, but I couldn't risk a leak. I'm not sure I understand. Don't worry. It's the scoop of the century. If I had a dime for every time I heard that... Listen, please. It begins with a little incident at a vineyard in Chile that caught my eye some time ago. This was a family business. Fernando Delgado and his son Manuel. Well-liked, hard-working men. Have a look at the folder. Hello, 47. Your next target's in Chile. His name is Fernando Delgado. Used to be a colonel in Pinochet's intelligence service. Now he's running a cocaine factory under cover of a vineyard. Satellite imaging suggests the lab is underground. Fernando's son, Manuel, is on the coke trade. So to make it look like a drug hit, you'll have to take him out too. We'll get you in with a pensioner's club from Santiago for the big celebrity unveiling of Delgado's new wine label, named for 80s B-action star Rex Stanton. There'll be at least one TV crew on hand, so keep an eye on them and their cameras. Delgado's got a seaplane, and that may be your best way to get out in a pinch.
the scoop of the century is a couple of wine guys getting whacked in Chile? It wasn't the victims that caught my eye. It was their killer. I believed it was Mr. 47. The bald killer clone? Come on, Jack. He's an urban legend. Even the CIA and your own FBI say he doesn't exist. We say a lot of things, Rick. It's part of the job. Delgado was a very successful man. Successful men in that part of the world tend to be, well, call it security conscious. Not many people could have done this thing solo. So you went running after a myth? Myth? No, no. It merely caught my attention. One of my CIA friends was also intrigued. The opera incident heightened our curiosity. Have a look. Hello, 47. We've got some business at the Paris Opera. There are two targets, the famous tenor and Richard Delahunt, the American ambassador to the Vatican. Our client claims they're behind a prostitution ring trafficking in boys and girls from Eastern Europe. Tosca is still in rehearsal, so there's plenty of activity at the Opera House and you shouldn't be too conspicuous. Ambassador Delahunt watches most rehearsals from his box. He travels with an armed escort, but there shouldn't be any other security to speak of. You'll get some cover from the construction crews renovating the theater for the new season. We've also left you a pickup in the cloakroom. In the third act of Tosca, the tenor faces a firing squad. That scene may provide a useful opportunity. It's a straightforward assignment, 47, but the agency's been having some problems in Paris. Use extreme caution. Here is your jacket, sir. Don't you want the jacket, sir? No, just needed something from one of the pockets. I'll pick it up later. S'il vous plaît.
On dirait un vrai. Heureusement que ce ne l'est pas.
The details you see, they are the finest artists that have made you. Here is beauty like you are not seeing. Are you eyes surprised? Yes, they react. Mais où est-ce que j'ai foutu ce truc? Excusez-moi, uh, I must to step away one moment. You think that was 47-2? We knew it was. We were so confident we set up an international task force to hunt him down and destroy him. Even assuming this guy exists, he's still just an assassin. What's the big deal? The big deal? He's the perfect clone. His DNA is a how-to manual for any cloning lab in the world. With Mr. 47 in their clutches, There'd be nothing to stop a rogue state from building an entire platoon of 47s. A whole army. These public statements you've been making against cloning, is this what it's all about? Of course. But surely you can't oppose all the uses of cloning. The medical advances, the possible curing of- Medicine won't do us much good if we're all the slaves of some clone army dictatorship, will it? Off the record, Jack. You're not serious. You have no idea how serious. That's why we had to eliminate 47. Having him on the loose was just too dangerous. Why not go after whoever created him? Oh, we did. But whenever we got too close, our agents got killed. By 47? See for yourself.
11.45. I'm sorry we have to meet like this. It's dangerous to meet in person. You're normally more prudent. What's going on? Looks like we've got a mole at the agency. Here's your briefing. Thanks. I'll read it later. How's that wound healing? Fine. Are we done here? One thing. We haven't been able to get a positive ID on the target. There's a government agent in there already, though we think he knows. The price for his knowledge is getting him out alive. And that raises my price. Already factored in. Take this. Designer poisons? The clinic only lets clients out when they're fully recovered or dead. The injection puts its victim into a hibernatory state. Apply the antidote on the lips to revive them. What if this agent's already dead? I trust you, 47. The money's been transferred to your account. It's good to have you back, 47. I'm glad to hear you're fully recovered. Your next assignment's in Northern California. Three mobsters have been checked into a rehab clinic for alcoholics. One of them plans to turn state's witness as soon as he's discharged. Our client wants to avoid that, but we don't know which of the three is the target. An undercover agent placed at the clinic to find out hasn't been heard from in a few days. The clinic will only discharge patients if they're sober or dead. The agent who's in there is apparently being kept drunk for unknown reasons, so you'll have to kill him to get him out, but we need him alive. We're giving you an experimental serum that'll give him the appearance of being dead, along with the antidote to bring him back once you're out. Something's very wrong at this clinic, 47. Keep your eyes open. You see that albino in here the other day? I thought he was a client. Turns out he was a
You. I should have known. Sedating me. Psychotropics. The things they've done. <sighs> Figures. They'd send you to clean up my mess. Th this is the guy. Here. I'm getting you out of here. They'll never let me out alive. I know. Identity obtained. Executing rest of assignment. Splendid, 47. It might interest you to know the following. A sudden shift in the delicate power balance of the New York families. Two low-level contracts just came in. In addition to your primary target, two members of the same group are currently staying at the facility. Terminating either will result in a $50,000 bonus per head. It's entirely up to you. Understood. You seen the shrink?
Getting a clearer picture? You had an agent on the inside, and 47 killed him? We've got it on videotape. The incident put us back on 47's tail, which eventually led to his destruction. You actually caught him? We didn't just catch your urban legend. We killed him. I assume you can prove this. I intend to give you incontrovertible evidence. But how? There was a bit player for the mob in a certain witness protection program. He was protected 24-7 by some of the most dedicated professionals we had. 47 came for him anyway. And you killed him? Bring out the car. Wait a second, Jack. Come on. You can't just leave me hanging. Bring the folder. We'll talk on the way. The way where? To your proof. Sending you down to the other end of the state, 47. The target's a gangster by the name of Vinny Sinistra. He's in a witness protection program pending a court appearance later this month. Our client wants to be sure Sinistra doesn't make it to the witness box. Sinistra's also got some hard evidence that can't be allowed to see the light of day. Our client thinks it may be on a bit of microfilm. Ensure that you retrieve it. Sinistra is extremely unstable and hasn't taken well to suburban life. They're having a birthday party for the youngest child on Sunday, and this may give you the angle you need to get in. The house is being monitored and protected by the feds, so extreme discretion is required. Tread lightly, 47. <laughs> 